claw of Geryon, cut from the creature of the same name, drives out all inspiration from anyone who enters into contact with it. It is thus an object that humans consider to be cursed. The color of Cerberus enables its wearer to simultaneously exist in both the terrestrial plane and in the kingdom of the underworld. It was obvious that such an artifact would interest Van Helsing, who did not miss the opportunity to steal it during the Great Hunt. Fortunately for me, Mina Murray, a promising child of Dracula, managed to recover it. She arranged to meet my disciples in the small village of Grenfield in order to give the collar to them. My disciples arrive in the village of Grenfield, where they are supposed to meet up with Mina Murray. The vampiric child of Dracula has settled in the region, and there takes the lives of charming young locals. This explains the inquisitive looks of the populace. The inhabitants, no doubt, make a link between Murray and the menacing strangers who are waiting, cloaked by my dark power in the village square. As dawn breaks, a beggar steps from the shadows and hands my disciples a scribbled message. The Fox Sisters, three aging exorcists, are hunting Mina down. She has taken refuge in an abandoned hut outside the village. My influence is growing. Sorry, but it seems your time has come. Return the kindness. What? Get near and near. Who shall die to me? offerings. 
Take them. Simple mortal trinkets. You'd better find a use for them. Seems your time has come. Anga! to die. I'm part. your head off. Seems I got carried away. to perfection. Who should I kill? Anga! A 
I shall have forged the world in my image. My power is absolute. Short respite is in order. Such frail creatures. Take everything you can. No one stands against the Prince of Hell. I hear the murmurs of the trees. They're fed up with humans. Let us answer their prayers. Choose quickly. Evil will not spread by its... Choose quickly. Evil will not spread by itself. Their time is counted. This rattle isn't worthy of my presence. Heads will roll tonight. Mirror, mirror. Who shall die? I want to die! Who should I kill? Anga! Now you see what happens to those who resist me. With that, the humans will finally submit to my yoke. Take everything you can.
Simple mortal trinkets. You'd better find a use for them. What are my orders? Not my head, but it'll do. When I give, I get. Take everything you can. Simple mortal trinkets. You'd better find a use for them. The abandoned hut sits at the edge of a small wood. No sound is coming from the interior, but vampires are silent creatures. My enthusiasm is however shattered when my disciples discover Murray's body lying on the damp floor. Her neck bears no collar, and black blood flows from her ribcage, empty where her heart should be. Whoever had tried to kill her had gone about it in amateurish fashion. My disciples sniff the blood and detect another source, human, that they will have no difficulty in following. They hide Nina's body while they await an opportunity to bring her back to life and set off in pursuit of the apprentice assassin. The people fear me once again. That is how it should be. Hillocks and fields as far as the eye can see. This scene lacks chaos. You give the orders, I carry them out. Scream as loud as you can. It's not my head, but it'll do. This sacrifice will make one of you more powerful. Choose. With that, 
the humans will finally submit to my yoke. What are my orders? You give the orders, I carry them out. It's not my head, but it'll do. Knowledge is power. Not my head, but it'll do. Be on your guard, disciples. Even you are not impervious to the snares of this swamp. The Conductor of Souls finally deigns to show himself. Don't make him wait. You shall not leave until all the mortals in this region have bowed down before me. The curse will pay for that. Tremble, laborers of the soil. The devil is coming to visit.
Who should I kill? Listening. Darkness makes me stronger. I'm listening. Should I kill? Oh, you don't have a chance. I'll have to cut your head off. Listening, but I feed in the dark. Didn't have a chance. These relics are potent enough to contain my power. My disciples follow the trail of the human blood all the way to an opulent residence. There they find a young man who recounts his tale. Jonathan Harker, who is madly in love with Mina Murray, guided the Fox Sisters to her hiding place. The terrible fight that followed earned him a nice gash and the loss of his love. He knows the destination of the Fox Sisters, but his fear of them prevents him from saying any more. My disciples therefore suggest that he sign a pact with me. In exchange for the information, we shall bring Mina Murray back to him alive. Forgetting the exorcists, he signs and reveals that the sisters spoke in front of him of the Hanged Man's house a building well known to the locals. My disciples leave after arranging to meet him in a church. I defile, I corrupt, I pervert. The curse will pay for that. Really? It's for me! The 
This forest isn't so terrifying. Not yet. Heads will roll tonight. What game are we playing? Who shall die tonight? I'm listening, Master. What game are we playing? I'm listening, Master. I need more souls. <laughs> A short respite is in order. Here I am. Ready again. <laughs> huh. Who should I kill? What game are we playing? Who shall? Submit must die. With that, the humans will finally submit to my yoke. Souls rotten with vice. Choose quickly. Evil will not spread by itself. This scene lacks chaos. I'm terribly sorry, but it seems your time has come. I'm listening. <laughs> Huh. 
I'm parched. Mirror, mirror. Who shall die tonight? I'm parched. Ah, here I am. Give me a taste of your blood. <laughs> I shall have forged the world in my image. Reality is but a toy to me. If you want something done right, do it yourself. Reality is but a toy to me. Let's get down to business. I am irresistible. I'm listening, master. Should I kill? Darkness makes me sleep. Give me a taste of your blood. Oh? of the sticks. Heads will 
roll tonight. Mirror, mirror. Who shall die tonight? I want to die! Anything back. I'll do likewise. I'm listening. In the eye. <laughs> I'm part. Here I am. Let them embrace you. <laughs> down before my power is a good mortal. I am pleased with these offerings. Take them. Scream as loud as simple mortal trinkets. You'd better find a use for them. souls. All those innocent souls I harvested will finally be of use. Choose quickly. Evil will not spread by itself.
No one stands against the Prince of Hell! My disciples have no trouble finding the Hanged Man's house. The presence of numerous demon hunters confirms to us that they are guarding a precious asset. Mina Murray's heart, without the shadow of a doubt. My disciples burst into the building like a knife through softened butter. In a short while, no one remains alive. Searching the place, they discover a strange urn engraved with symbols of the Sanctua Lumen. Inside, Mina Murray's heart is beating faintly. What is this strange alliance between our two enemies? But the heart must be quickly restored to her body, and my disciples depart. Fear my rage. And to think that such a powerful relic was hidden in this rat hole. Take everything. Souls rotten. Sacrifice to dominate. Simple mortal trinkets. You'd better find a use for them. That putrid smell, that deathly silence, I feel right at home. I am pleased with these offerings. Take them! I hate fields. I'd love to see them burn. Heads will roll tonight. I'm parched. <laughs> Ancient history. <laughs> Who should I kill? Hunger! 
I'm listening, Master. I'm listening, Master. Chance. Oh, that is coming to its close. <laughs> the 
another night, another conquest. Scream as loud as you can. I'm terribly sorry, but it seems your time has come. <laughs> Oh, God. 